Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Well, he says, I hope visitors leave with a different mindset than when they entered and hope that it will alter one's perspective of art blended with nature, motivating a desire on their part to create, unquote. Richard McKenzie, founder and president of Seven Bridges Foundation. And I was at Seven Bridges Foundation recently to hear a lecture by one of the artists, which was Cheryl Kelly, known for her photorealism oil paintings. And afterwards, I caught up with the executive director, Jamie Dimaselli, as she expounded on what Seven Bridges is all about. Hearing that conversation happening now on the WHS Journal, it's news and public affairs. All right, I just finished up with Cheryl Kelly. And I'm still here. Well, it's called Seven Bridges Foundation. And right now I'm with the executive director, Jamie Dimaselli. How you doing, Jamie? I'm great. How you doing? I'm doing okay. My f- first time here. This is an amazing place. Talk about this place. What is it all about? This place is a art foundation that was incorporated somewhere in the mid-90s. I want to say somewhere around 1996. Um, And it was started by a gentleman named Richard McKenzie, who found the land, decided that he wanted to create this foundation. He collected a number of pieces. And, you know, almost 31 years later, after he started collecting, we have 1,200 pieces. We have two galleries totaling about 30,000 square feet, two buildings on 80 acres of land in Greenwich with sculpture throughout. We're in a room right now with, I'm looking at nothing but by and large, Cheryl Kelly. Do they call this the Cheryl Kelly room? <laughs> we, we have been referring to it as that, but uh, there, there are other artists down here, but this, this room is um, predominantly featuring Cheryl's art. Um, she does these beautiful realist paintings of automobiles, and she's a car enthusiast. She has been painstakingly creating these works for years and years. There are 33 behind me right now. They're kind of on the smaller side. They're done on aluminum panels, and these were commissioned by Richard McKenzie. After, I believe, and I haven't verified this with Cheryl, but I do believe that um, there's a larger Packard and an orange Cadillac on the wall that he may have purchased from a gallery first. Mm. And then when he, um, you know, when he saw what she could do, he went to commission lots and lots of, of automobiles. He is a, a car enthusiast as well. And you've been connected with Seven Bridges for how long now? It'll be four years in December. Four years. It's two galleries. It's two galleries. You're sitting in Gallery 2, which is the newer of the two. Um, this one was finished in about 2011, and the first gallery was finished in 1993. And the one that we're in right now is three floors. The other one is... It's also three floors, but um, this is three floors that are are only art, and the third floor of of the other building has office space as well as residential space. No one lives there, though. No one lives there? No, no one lives there, but they are built as residences because we are in a residential neighborhood in in Greenwich. If you're just joining us, I am with Jamie Dimaselli, Executive Director for Seven Bridges Foundation. It's a lovely place. It's an incredible place. Where were you born and raised? I was born in New York, just outside of the city in Westchester County, and lived there for most of my life, and then um, moved to Connecticut a number of years ago, bought a house, and stayed there for a while, and then came back to New York, which is really, it's really my home, you know, it's home in my heart, just everything about it, but we are really close to New York and the New York border, Um, so I'm, you know, I'm not too far from home. Um, But I've been living in Connecticut now for a number of years. Um, The last eight consecutive years have been in Connecticut. And I miss, but I miss my New York. (laughs) Well, you have been a great host today. It's an amazing place. I'm glad I was exposed. Now I can share. Looking forward to coming back. What other kind of activities do you have throughout the year here? We have weekly tours um, from April through November 
on Thursdays um, in the afternoon, and it's a you know it's about four hours for the tour, so that you can see both of the buildings and the grounds. If we have a good weather day, we take a nice walk um, from one building to another, and it's about a half mile. So it's a really really large space, lots of sculpture to see on the way from one building to the next. Um, and then we're also doing special events throughout the year. Um, I'd like to do more artist lectures like the one that you were attending today. Uh, we had another one um, by another artist who's featured just there on the table. Uh, his name is Brent Key Young. He was a glass artisan. Um, he is a glass artisan, and he, um, I believe he pioneered that technique that a lot of other glass artisans use to this day. Several other events coming down the pike. We're going to have a master class at one point in time um, with um, one of our artists. We're still working out the details of that, um, but I'd like to do several master classes, some plein air painting which is you know outdoor painting and we have a gorgeous landscape for people who like to paint landscapes and then I would like to have some other youth programs some other schools visiting art schools as well as high schools with a really strong art program you know just to sort of open the doors and let people enjoy this unbelievable space someone want to reach out to you what's the contact number and website the best way to reach us is info at sevenbridges.org and seven is spelled out or they could go to the website which is www.sevenbridges.org thank you for hanging out for an additional period of time you talked to a lot of people today and I, i'm the caboose so god bless you and thank you for your time you you were a wonderful host today thank you so much jerry it was really great to meet you likewise thanks and you just heard my conversation with jamie demicelli Executive Director of Seven Bridges Foundation in Greenwich, Connecticut. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WIHS 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049. I'm Jerry Williams for the WIHS Journal. It's news and public affairs.